What's up everybody, it's Kelsey and Rihanna J and in this video today, I had this video on my to-do list for forever. I wanted to provide you guys with swatches of my Christian Louboutin lipstick collection. Mind you, I don't have a ton. I have four colors, but I feel like that's a good reference point for anybody who is interested in this brand of lipsticks. Now these came out sometime towards the end of late last year, like around like September, October-ish and the internet went wild with them and I always was meaning and meaning and meaning to do a swatch video for you guys and then today I was just like why don't I do that swatch video? So, so I hope that this helps anybody who is still interested in purchasing these lipsticks. As everybody knows, if you are looking at these lipsticks, you know that they are a hefty $90 per lipstick. But you're paying for a lot of things. The name, the packaging, and actually, even besides all of the razzle-dazzle, the actual formula of these lipsticks is unlike anything that I've ever felt. The four that I have to show you today are all matte lipsticks. He has three different types. He has a more so of a sheer shinier lipsticks I think they're called the Rouge Volupte and forgive me if I'm wrong and then he has the like satin ones and I forgot what those are called and then they have the matte ones which are the ones that I have in my collection so in the comments section let me know some of your favorites that you see me apply and also if you have any Christian Louboutin lipsticks that you don't see me have tell me what your favorites are because I still love them even though the hype has really died down around them I still love these lipsticks so this one has never been used this one is called just nothing I don't know why I've been saving it and not using it but today is today it's gonna take me a little bit of a little bit of time but here's just nothing all of the ones that I have are mattes oh, so very very natural nude um y'all might think I'm crazy but I don't know I might think my own self is crazy who lets? I literally have had this lipstick probably about six months. I can't even remember when I bought it. That's how long I've had it. And it's just been sitting on my vanity this whole time. I don't even know where I bought it from. But it's just a really natural, neutral lipstick. Just something super simple every day. If I was going to advise you not to buy one of them, this is probably going to be the one that I would say because it's so neutral. It's not giving me $90 tea. But I have it, and I've and I've had it, so it's mine. This is it's mine. It's staying in my collection. It's cool. It's just not giving me any. Oomph. For sure, it's one of those colors. I definitely will have to mix and do some things to make it be a little bit more interesting. But this will be a good everyday shade for people who like neutrals. If you're actually gonna wear it and you wear neutrals, this is just like a good neutral. It's literally just nothing. It's pretty, but I don't think it's $90 pretty. This one is Zulu. This one is a personal favorite of mine. I actually do not have a color like this in my entire collection. I definitely feel like this one is totally worth the $90. It's a really pretty brown neutral color. Again, another neutral, but I feel like this one is a little bit more unique than the other one. What it looks like in the tube. Now this is my kind of color, like just looking at it in the actual container, it just looks like a brown neutral color and these are super popular colors nowadays. What's special about it? To me, I feel like everything is special about it. Every single time I wear this color out, I forever get compliments. People are stopping me, asking me what colors on my lips and I'm telling them Christian Louboutin Zulu and they're like, oh. Christian Louboutin girl people already know that name is synonymous with expensive but to me I feel like this color is super worth it it's very pigmented it's super unique and I absolutely love it I'm pretty sure I love this one the most out of all of them I would even give up the red one for this one just because I think it is absolutely stunning it complements a variety of skin tones and it's just gorgeous I don't have a dupe for it nor do I want to do for it. I'm okay with always having this lipstick and I will always buy this lipstick because I absolutely adore it. I don't even want to take it off. That's how much I love it. I'm just sitting here in it because I don't even want to take it off. It's a problem. Now this one is the classic red. This is Rouge Louboutin. Instead of the gold trimming like the rest of the boxes, 
this one does have the Louboutin red on the side so that way you know that this one is the red one and then they have three different Rouge Louboutin they have it in the matte the satin and then they have one in more so like a glossier finish so this one is all black and the rest of them are gold so here's the red gorgeous red lipstick my most favorite red lipstick in my entire collection so let me go ahead and apply it honey I'm sorry but I would pay a hundred dollars for this lipstick I feel like it is so worth it I feel like even if you find a dupe for color just the overall formula and how it looks on your lips and how it makes everybody's lips look like so lush in my opinion that's worth the hundred dollars or ninety dollars that they're asking for it just makes my teeth look whiter it just makes my face look brighter it just makes my life go tighter like I just love this color I feel like it's just like the perfect red like I definitely see that they took their time making this red this formula this formula is unlike anything on the market honestly so you're definitely getting a very much so quality lipstick when you're paying for these so this one is the red one, which I did do an entire review on. If you guys want to see that, I did it back in September. My thoughts on it are still the same. I still love it. Like, I just feel like it's just perfect on everybody's complexion. Every single time I look at somebody and they have on a red lipstick, I almost instantly can tell if this is the one that they have on. Because in my eyes, this color and this formula, the way it is, is just undupable. Love this. And then lastly, I have Eaton Moy, which is a nice, rich, dark color. Please excuse me if I butchered that name. Okay, I love this color. Of all the colors, I feel like this one is the most dupable. A lot of colors have a lot of different shades that are very much so around here. So if you're not comfortable paying the $90, then I definitely feel like you can find a color like this one in other brands for way less money. But I really like this one because I feel like this color is really hard to do and keep it moisturizing and opaque at the same time. A lot of times when companies attempt to do this color, this color just gets very patchy or it's very dry. But this one is neither. The color is opaque and I feel like it feels great so this one is personally something I feel like was worth the money just like all of the rest of these lipsticks like all of these lipsticks are superb and I definitely don't regret spending any of the money on any of these colors I know that they're $90 I know that this is just shy of $400 for lipsticks but you spend your money on what you spend your money on and who are you to judge what anybody spends their money on so I really like these and if you all have any Christian Louboutin lipsticks that you feel like I definitely need to grab them, let me know down below. I am still wanting to grow my collection. The colors that Christian Louboutin do offer are colors that I do feel like I have something very similar to so I've just held off on buying them but these colors stood out to me so if you have a few colors that you feel like stand out amongst the crowd for you then let me know in the comment section and I would love to check them out. I don't see a lot of people talking about them as much as I did when they first released but I still definitely love them so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you are interested in purchasing any of the Christian Louboutin lipsticks because to my knowledge they are not offered in a lot of different places where you can just go see them just like in super major cities like they don't even have these in Atlanta so I'm just buying these blindly off of places like Nordstrom, Sephora, Neiman Marcus, Saks Fifth Avenue and then hoping that they work and every single one that I've ordered so far has worked and I've loved them and please thumbs up this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching smooches bye